Hello? Pastor Suzanne Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. A church you can call home. If you don't have a church, come join us. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, watch us or, or uh, listen to us or just walk on up and come on up. Amen. It says, uh, where we honor God, love family, serve uh -huh. others, and we pursue excellence. And yes. we have a passion for God. And we have a passion for souls. Amen. We used to have a passion for all kinds of things. I used to have a passion for sports. I mean, I was in just about anything. But I've changed that. And uh, I've dethroned myself and yeah. put God <laughs> on the throne. So he now sits on the throne. He's first, my first priority. And that should be our first priority. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things shall be added on to you. So we yeah. need to make sure that we have it first. And yeah. when you wake up every morning, don't forget to say, thank you, Lord, and yeah. be joyful about it. He said, I've given you a new day to serve me. Amen. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. First thing we think about is circumstances. First wow. thing we think about, well, oh, man, it's storming out there. Mm. Oh, man, it's too hot out there. Oh, boy. He said, man, we can't do anything. Mm. Okay. Anyway, well, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> it says bienvenidos and uh, welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. God has something for you. Yes. You know what you got to do is you got to receive what He has for yes. you. Amen. So don't exclude yourself, include yourself. He's got something for me. I want it. Amen. Amen. Man, when we get in that uh, fellowship uh, food line, you know, <laughs> every, every one of us is, is waiting. To taste what's up there, you know. So mm -hmm. guess what? He's got something for us, and man, I'm ready to receive whatever Amen. we have, whatever He's got for me. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Ooh, I'm excited. I don't know about you, but uh, before we get too excited, let's grab our Bibles and grab yeah. our sword, soldier of God, Amen. and you know, Hallelujah. let's make this declaration together. All Amen. Right. And it goes like this. It says, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'm going to talk the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. You better believe that my mind is alert. Because you're thinking right now, man, I could be somewhere else. <laughs> and the enemy is busy. And you're going to start thinking things uh, you don't want to think. Amen. We gotta control it and bring it to in order, you know. He says, wait a minute. This yeah. is God's time right now, you know. Hey, he's got something for me. So you know what? Devil, take a hike. Yes. yes. Mind be still yes. and receive what God has for me. Yes. Amen. I want to receive it. Yes. I can give you I'll try to give you something. He tries to give us something, but we need to receive it. A lot of us have not received him yet as our Lord and Savior. And we're mm -hmm. running from him. Oh, boy. It's time to stop running. It's time to yes. say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. That's all it takes. Mm. And you know, it's time to do it about face Amen. and just come face to face with Him. You know, quit running like a prodigal son, you know, all a right. prodigal daughter, daughter, you know. It's time to turn around and come yes. back and say, Lord, yes. here I am. Mm -hmm. You know, Amen. He knows you the most, mm -hmm. He knows you best, He loves you the most. And we try to hide from Him. He knows everything about you. Yes. The good and the bad. And loves you the most. And we're still running from him. Don't make sense. Amen. So whew, we're going to be talking about don't forget joy. Amen. Yeah. I mean, I had something else planned, but if God says, uh, I, want, I want this. I want you to preach this. Amen. So let's not forget joy. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. And we have some scriptures. And I want you to write these down. Amen. So yeah. let's remember that. Listen, I, I just want, I, once in a while, I, 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 I let you know this. Don't leave as you came. Leave changed person. Why? Because you're going to receive the word. Mm -hmm. And the word is going to change you. Yeah. Allow the word to change you. He's not finished with you. He's got great plans for you. Make yourself available. He's got greater things for me. You know, on a daily basis, you need to confess that. God's got bigger and better things for me. Amen. And just occupy and just live on him and, and, and man i'm serving him with joy mm -hmm. and, and and not just out of uh you know hate or just a, a routine thing you know but mm -hmm. enjoy it you know we're going to talk about mary and martha mm -hmm. one of them's enjoying herself <clears throat> worshiping god mm -hmm. worshiping jesus right there in front of them you know and the other one is busy 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 you can come and tell us jesus you know you know, have her get up and come help me. You know, 
Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of us can keep ourselves occupied and busy all the time, but you know what? We have right, make, yeah. we make no time for Him. No. We have no time for Him. He made time for us. He stepped out of heaven, came here, born, and went to the cross for us, yes. and took all the blame and everything for us. Amen. And then at the end, you know, when he had a chance to tell the father, you know, you know what? These people are ungrateful. Forget it. They just get me out of here. Mm -hmm. and, you know, he could have just said, but you know what he said? The first thing he says, forgive them. Yes. We need to remember this. Remember, walk, when you walk on a daily basis, walk with your Jesus glasses on. Walk with Jesus' love and compassion. And you start seeing the world the way he saw it. Amen. Instead of just trying to hold it and fight everything you hear or see. He's got greater things for for, for for you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You're a winner. You're a champion. You're an overcomer. Amen. Amen. So quit seeing yourself the way the world sees you. Quit seeing yourself the way people have said things about you. And see yourself the way he sees you. And he didn't put you here to win. I mean, excuse me, lose. He put you here to win. Yes, he did. Man, I'm blessed already. We can go home and I'm I'm blessed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't forget joy. Joy is an important part of a Christian believer's uh, life, victorious life. Amen. Joy is what gives us the strength to hold steady when circumstances get rough and tough. And things will get rough and tough. And if you don't know where to go, you're going to lose and you're going to give in. And if you don't renew your mind with the Word of God, guess what? <laughs> you can fall. Because you don't know where else to go. When you go to Him, you know, you feed your spirit, man, the Word of God. You renew your mind with the Word of God. And you crucify the flesh because the flesh wants to go right back to where it was. You know, when it, when... God told Moses to take the people across the desert to the promised land. It was a three-day journey. It took them 40 years. Yeah. All this complaining people. <laughs> you know, and, it, and guess what? Every time things got rough, they wanted to go back to slavery. Yeah. They wanted to go back to Egypt. I say, oh my God. Moses finally had enough. And he told God. He met with God one day and he says, you know what? He said, if you don't help me with these negative people, if you don't help me with these folks, that's me, okay? But he says, just kill me. <laughs> I don't want any more of this. And just think what people are saying right now. You know, if they don't know any better, a lot of people are just doing themselves away because they don't know that they don't know. And guess what? Well, God dealt with it and he gave Moses some help. Gave Moses some help, but guess what? They had the same vision. Gave him the same vision Moses had that God had given Moses. Okay, they didn't have their own little thing to do. They had the same vision God gave Moses. But he gave him help. So, let's not be complainers. Let's not, uh, let's just be participators and involved in what God wants us to do. Things will get rough and tough. Joy gives you the ability to laugh at the devil's face when he starts trying to uh, knock your faith off. Okay, faith is not going to work. Well, guess what? It does. Faith works. Yes, it does. It gives us the stand, standing power that makes you a winner. Make it a point to rejoice and be glad in Him on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Give no place to the devil. Give no place to the devil. Mm -hmm. That means you got to watch your words. Yes. Because you open the doors every mm -hmm. time you speak the negative words. Mm -hmm. Every time you speak <coughs> death. Yeah. Amen. Every time I say, well, what happened? The words you're speaking mm -hmm. says, give no place to the enemy. No he right. goes around as a roaring lion seeking who we may devour. How does he know? Well, it's what the things you're confessing, the things you're saying. Mm -hmm. I said, well, it's just words. Snakes and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt no, me. Yes, they will. That was a big lie. Mm -hmm. Words are seeds mm -hmm. and these seeds grow either death or life. Mm -hmm. They grow in your garden, in your garden. Amen. And those are seeds of death or life. But you plant those seeds, okay? So be careful. You still love pastor. Yeah. <laughs> Give no place to the devil. <laughs> and he won't be able to steal 
your joy or if your victory. That's it. He don't want you to be happy. He don't want you to be joyful. He no. wants you to be sad, doom and gloom. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So let's remember this. Of course, we know John ten ten. We're going to confess it here in a few other minutes, but in a few minutes. But it's John ten ten says the enemy comes, the devil comes to steal, yeah. kill, and destroy. Now Jesus says, I come that you might have life and you have it more abundantly. Amen. So let's remember that. That's the joy of the Lord. Yes. And the plus the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Yes. A few scriptures I'm going to read to you as we go. Hebrews 12 and 2 says this. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. Amen. That was, that was a shame. You think you've gone through some things. That was a shameful thing. Yeah. Amen. But he did it for us. Yes, he did. And it sat down at the right hand of the uh, right hand of, of, of God at the at the throne. Amen. He's sitting at the right hand of God. Yes. A place of authority. Mm -hmm. And he's interceding for us. He didn't forget about us. He's still praying for us. Mm -hmm. And he wants us to turn around and start doing what he wants us to do. Amen. Start living for him. Start mm -hmm. serving him. Yes. John 15, uh, 9 through 11 says this, As the Father has loved me, so I love you. Now remain in my love. If, uh, if you keep my command, mm -hmm. you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's command and remain in his love, I have told you this so that, you, so that my joy may be with you or yes. in you and that your joy may be complete. Mm -hmm. The joy of the Lord is in you. The joy of the Lord is your strength. As a matter of fact, one of the fruit of the Spirit is, is joy. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, praise God. Nehemiah 8 and 10, uh, B, I'm just going to read the B part of what it says. Again, the joy of the Lord is our <clears throat> strength. So don't put away joy. Joy is a yeah. good thing. Amen. We, we just got to renew our minds because we get overloaded with uh, negative things. Right. We get overloaded with the world. Yes. We get overloaded with all kinds of works uh -huh. and priorities. Mm -hmm. But I said, just, you know, spend time with him yes. and let him know. Amen. Lord, I need your joy right now. Mm -hmm. Because things look, and he knows. Mm -hmm. But he, I, need, I need your strength, Lord, to continue. Mm -hmm. It's okay. If Jesus prayed, we can pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. All our Bible heroes, you know, they weren't perfect. No. But guess what? They prayed. Yes. If we did it for them, he'll do it for us. Yes. Don't exclude yourself. Include yes. yourself. Be involved in this. Yes. Amen. Yes. Again, yes. Philippians 4 and 4 says this. New Living Translate or Version says, Be full of joy always because you belong to yes. the Lord. Again, mm -hmm. I say, mm -hmm. be full of joy. Yes. Why? Because you belong to him. When yes. you start seeing yourself, Whose you are and who's backing you. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm God's property. Yes. Hey Amen. Jesus went to the cross. He bought us back. Mm -hmm. He paid a debt he didn't owe. And it says, I <coughs> owe a debt I cannot pay. And he bought us. So we belong to him. Yeah. Yes. Whether you know it or not, now you do. <laughs> <laughs> but it says, Be full of joy always because. You belong to the Lord. Mm -hmm. I do. You do. Regardless of what the world has said, regardless of who has told you what. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be careful in the things you th you're thinking. Yeah. Amen. Control your thinking. Mm -hmm. Renew your mind with the Word of God. Yeah. This is what the Word of God says, not what the world says, not what so and so says. I read to the church family here earlier. But I want to read it to you that are watching, those of you that are listening. It says, don't let your past people and their words stop your destiny that God is for you. Mm -hmm. He's got a destiny for you. And he wants you to win. He don't want you to lose. That's but it. you know what? People, hey, your past is what the enemy uses all the time. He uses the past. He uses people. Mm -hmm. And he uses words yeah. to try to control you and stop you and and distract you yeah. from what God wants you, from the destiny God has for you. But when you put him first and you start serving him and have joy about it, you know what? You're going to succeed. Amen. And you're going to make it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Again, uh, in the King James, it says, uh, Philippians 4, 4, 
rejoice in the Lord sometimes. Always. <laughs> it says rejoice in the Lord when you feel good. No. Always. Always. It says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. rejoice. If you didn't get it the first time, I'm going to say it again. Mm -hmm. Rejoice. Yes. Yeah, but you don't know my problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you don't know my work schedule. Yeah, but you don't know this. Well, you know what? <laughs> he knows it already. Confess it. Yes. Get rid of it. And, and press on. With it, with it. Clean. Just get it out. Uh -huh. Yes. Amen. You know, you don't have to go confess to no person, no pastor, or no. You just go to him, confess it to him. He knows already. Why are you still holding it? Mm. Get it out. Let it go. Mm -hmm. You know, get clean. Yeah. Amen. Amen. First Thessalonians 5 and 16 says this, New Living Version. Be full of joy sometimes. All the time. The King James says, the New King James says, rejoice always. Mm -hmm. If you're not, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Believers, if you want to call yourself a Christian or you want to call yourself a believer, I'm a child of God, believer. Mm -hmm. We should be the happiest people on earth. Oh, because we have a greater one in us. Yes. And we know the mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. So we know we win. Yes. Regardless. You're on God's winning team. Yes. Amen. So yes. we should be the happiest people. We know we're just passing through. <laughs> this is not our home. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Heaven is our home. We're just passing through. That's it. But you know, still, <laughs> as we're passing through, we're reconciling uh -huh. people to the Lord. Yes. We're bringing, I've said it this way, you're the closest thing to a Bible. Some people be will hear or be around. And they're going to hear the word of God. And I'm going to lead them to Christ. Amen. That's your world right there where you work. That's your world right there where you shop. That's your world wherever you happen to be at. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you just share Jesus with them. And sometimes you just got to be a good witness. Just as yes. you walk. Yes. Amen. The people see yeah. something different about that person. Mm -hmm. They can tell. It's a spirit thing, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they say, wow. Praise God. And you know, sometimes they can't hold their mouth, you know. They just got to say something different about you. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but something different about you. And then it's time for you to open up and say, you know, it's Jesus in my life. Mm -hmm. I used to be down and out. Mm -hmm. I used to be lost. And now I'm found mm -hmm. Jesus has a destiny for me. And he's got a destiny for you too. Yes. And you can change that. Yes. All you have to do is receive him. Yeah. As the Lord has said you. Amen. And stop going and pressing on for him. And doing for him. Just yes. like we're so dedicated. Into doing for our jobs. And for oh, the world. Lord. Amen. We can do for him. Again Genesis. Uh, excuse me. Galatians 5. 22 and 23. In the easy to read version. It says. But the fruit of the Spirit produces yes. in a person, a person's life, uh -huh. is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, uh -huh. gentleness, and self-control. Yeah. Man, we've got this. But you know what? we got to develop these things. Because mm -hmm. there's people out there. And there's circumstances and there's things always coming against you. Mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I need you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said, Lord, I need you. Help me, Lord. Yes. As we're yeah. developing these fruit. Of the Spirit in us, Amen. But we can do it. It's all right there for us, Amen. You're a child of God. It's there. James yeah. one, two, and three says this. New Living Translation says, "Brothers and sisters, when trouble of any kind comes your way, you have any problems coming your way? You have any troubles yeah. coming your way? <laughs> if not, maybe you need to get saved. Because <laughs> the enemy is busy. <laughs> you know, the enemy ain't gonna bother you." If he's already got you. <laughs> so, it's time to get saved, you know. Quit putting it off. Let me start over again. It says, uh, brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind yeah. comes your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. Yeah. It says, for when you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance mm -hmm. to grow. I have opportunities. Mm -hmm. But I've overcome Amen. I count it all joy. Mm -hmm. I've endured, and, I, and your endurance has a chance to grow. Mm -hmm. And we're maturing in the things of God, and we're yes. growing 
we're growing and going for Jesus. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. So, man, praise God. Yes. Praise God. Listen to this. I've got a, a few scriptures on this one, and you can mark these down. But I wrote them in quite a few. We got Proverbs seventeen twenty two says. English Standard Version says this: the joy, the joyful, a joyful heart is good medicine, uh -huh. but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. That's it. Listen to what it's saying. Listen to yeah. these words. Easy to read version says happiness, joyfulness mm -hmm. is good medicine, but sorrow mm -hmm. is a disease. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's a disease. Wow. Amplified says this: a happy heart <clears throat> is good medicine, and a joyful mind causes healing, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. Yes. So, you know, huh. some of us need to put a smile on. Mm. We've been wearing a frown too long. Yes. <laughs> you know, a smile right. draws people. Frown yeah. pushes them away. All right, now. Yeah. You know, uh, let's, let's remember this. New Living Translation says, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Yeah, yeah. 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 Amen. So, uh, Let's 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 remember this. Thank you, Lord. The extended Bible says this. Says a happy, joyful heart is good medicine. It brings healing. But a broken spirit, depression drains your strength. It dries up the bone. We can do something about it. You know, we can change. You know, when you renew your mind, you're able to change. I want to change. Don't stay the same. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. We have an opportunity. But we need to do what he's telling us to do. Amen. Amen. And, and be joyful and not sorrowful, not sad. Doom and gloom, you know. Uh, again, Psalms 118 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. We let us, or I will rejoice and be glad in it. We need to be obedient, mm. obey what the Word of God yeah. tells us to. Most believers, listen to this. <clears throat> We're talking believers, I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about okay. believers spend most of their time defeated, uh -huh. beaten, overpowered. Oh Overcome, overwhelmed, and crushed. Oh boy. We're talking about believers. You know, the worst believer is the one that's got the word in them mm. and, won't, and won't speak it. Won't speak it out. You got to speak the word. Are you ashamed of what Jesus did? Are you ashamed to be a child of God? Mm. The saddest person is a defeated believer mm -hmm. that's not doing anything for, him, for Jesus. Most believers are uptight, tense, anxious, mm. upset, sad, troubled, overstressed, burdened, overloaded, overstretched, oh and overstrained. Oh We're goodness. talking believers now. Mm -hmm. Discouraged, downcast, depressed, dejected, yes. disheartened, mm. hopeless. Mm. We can change. We can turn. On, we can turn all this around. We yes. we can. All because the joy and the happiness is based entirely on circumstances. Wrong job, wrong career, mm -hmm. relationships, friendships, habits, mm -hmm. sin. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, Peter, 1 Peter 5, 7. Write this down. It says, give all your worries to him. Cast all your anxieties on him yes. because yes. he cares about you. Amen. Why are we still holding on to him? Mm -hmm. And we know it's not leading us to anything good. That's it. That's we need it. His joy. You know, and we need to share it. Yeah. You know, we need to share the good news. You know, yes. <laughs> good news. <laughs> this world is nothing but sad news, mm -hmm. depressed news, mm -hmm. you know, and we have the good news in us yes. and we're not doing anything with it. This is the darkest world. And we are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. And we can bring light. 
yes. to all of these people that yes. are in darkness. Amen. So this is what you can do. Yes. I mean, this is what we all can do as children of God. Amen. Um, Psalms 55 and 22 says this. Give, cast, throw your worries, your burdens, that which he has uh, that which he has given to the Lord, he will take care of, sustain you. He will never let good, righteous people down yes, or be moved. Amen. Amen. Yes. Again, we have scripture to tell us to give it to him, cast it on him, give it to him. If Jesus yes. went to the cross for us, why yes. are we still holding on to it? Amen. God put it on Jesus, and Jesus went to the cross, and we're still not obeying what the word of God is telling us to do. We need to we need to do this. Don't lose your joy if you're able to cast it and give it to him. Amen. Don't allow the joy to go. Mm -hmm. Keep your joy. All this uh, the things distract <laughs> will discourage your spiritual batteries. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey we have great vehicles that we drive and they're great tools. Mm -hmm. We get to drive them, we get to take us places and mm -hmm. things. But you know what? If you let that battery, if you don't take care of that battery, no. it'll drain and next time you get in it, mm -hmm. it ain't gonna go anywhere. Yeah. Well, we have spiritual batteries that we need to keep up and up. That means we gotta feed on the word yes. and keep our spirit spiritual batteries up all the time. Because yes. the world, if you're not charging <coughs> your spiritual batteries, the world will drain them for you. Quick. Oh, yeah. Amen. Quick. You know. <laughs> In many, 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 many ways. You know, just driving to work. Hmm. There's road rage all the time. Oh, you know? gosh. People reading you the wrong way. Oh, yeah. yeah. People saying the wrong things. Mm. People meeting you at, at work. Or people seeing you mm. wherever you go saying the wrong things mm -hmm. doing the wrong things it'll drain you quick yes it will. especially if you're not renewing your mind with the word of god mm -hmm. if you're not prepared to go into the world on a daily basis <clears throat> prepare yourselves before you go anywhere david prepared himself before he went to see the giant mm -hmm. he knew <laughs> he knew who was backing him yep. he knew who he was he right. says he says, when the bear came, when the lion came, uh -huh. my God was with me. Yes. And the, my God is back in me. Mm -hmm. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Okay. You know? Who is he? Probably he says, been. you know what? He didn't see how big the giant was. Mm -hmm. He said, my God is bigger. Mm -hmm. You know, when the children of Israel went into the promised land and spite it, they saw the giants. But it wasn't the giants that kept them out. It was a word. Their yes. words. Their yes. words kept them out. Yeah. Because yeah. they say, man, we can't do this. We can't yeah. do that. Them guys are giants. Mm -hmm. We just like grasshoppers. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? They're confessing the wrong things. Yes. Yes. We do the same thing. So you better be mm -hmm. careful. Is that what the word of God says? Mm -hmm. Somebody tells you something. You ask. You let them know. Mm -hmm. Is there scripture for this? Yeah. <laughs> no. But you know, it's always been like this. No. Well, you know what? It's going to change now. Because yeah. I'm not That's receiving that. I'm confessing yes. what the Word of God says, mm -hmm. and things will change, yes. and things will be different. Things Amen. will be God's way, and yes. not man's way. Amen. Amen. So let's 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 remember that. Let's let's be careful, but keep your spiritual batteries charged, because we fight a spiritual battle on yes. a daily yes. basis. Yes. We fight a spiritual battle. Okay. If you're fighting a spiritual battle, physically. You lose because you no match to a spiritual battle. We need the word of God because we don't fight flesh and blood. We're fighting spirit beings in high places. That's what the word of God says. I'll read it to you here. We're too blessed to be stressed, but we allow ourselves to get stressed out. Oh man, some of us are real proud about that. You know, hey, I like to get stressed out so I can go and have a few good ones, you know. Oh man. You know. Ephesians uh, 6 and 12 says this. For our fight, our conflict, our struggle is not against people on earth. Not against flesh and blood. But against the rulers and authorities and the powers yeah. or uh, cosmic powers and rulers of this world. Mm -hmm. Dark 
darkness against the spirit, spiritual powers of evil in the heavenly worlds, in heavenly places. Mm. So that's remember this. We can, only, we can only overcome this. We can only come, come against this with the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. People get happy and joyful when things are not. Excuse me. When things are going their way, mm -hmm. they have lots of money in the bank. Everything is comfy. Everything is nice, and they get so happy. Yeah. Every Friday. <laughs> That's the only time they rejoice. Oh, thank God it's Friday. I've got the whole weekend on. And I'll get the rest the whole weekend. <clears throat> uh, they party all weekend. And then they got to go, go back to work on, on Sunday. And they don't come to church. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> when it's Friday, holidays, vacation time, or time off. These things account for a small part of our lives. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Again, most people, including believers, <clears throat> spend most of their time defeated, mm. uptight, upset, overstressed, and discouraged. <clears throat> We're talking believers. Mm. The world is already this way. Yeah. We don't have to be like the world. That's We're it. in the world, but not of the world. That's it. That's and we don't have to be this way. That's it. You can only allow yourself to be this way uh -huh. if that's what you want. Yeah. But like I said, the, the, the worst, saddest thing is a defeated Christian. Mm. Because you're allowing yourself, you've got all that you need, and that's you're it. not allowing yourself to serve the Lord. Oh my gosh. And you're not confessing the right things. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Most people, including believers, say mm -hmm. are defeated. Mm -hmm. As we grow spiritually, our relationship with God grows. We grow in His Word, and it set us free. We grow in the truth, and the truth sets us free. Yeah. Amen. It, 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 and we get rid of all the mindsets and all the traditions. And yeah. people saying, "Well, it's always been like this." Oh. It's always going to be like this. No. You know, he, from generations to generations, our family done it this way. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? It's going to change. Amen. It's going to be God's way and not man's yes. way. Amen. Amen. All distractions and bondages. Stay free from the world and negative mindsets and traditions and negative people. No boy. Amen. We used to be there. We don't have to stay mm -hmm. there. Yeah. That's it. We've changed. Amen. We know better now. And don't let them drag you back in, in into their storm. That's it. Into their lifestyle. That's it. Bring them into your peace. Yes. Wow, I want I want what you've got. What is it that you've got? <coughs> don't be ashamed to say I've got Jesus. Yeah. Jesus keeps me sane. Jesus keeps me happy. Jesus keeps me joyful. Yes. <laughs> Amen. And they can have it too. Yeah. It's not for us to keep. It's for us to share, you know. It's not just about our little group, mm. our little denominations. No, we're the body of Christ. We're uh, uh, the church, the body of Christ. All of us yes. going out and doing what God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. Reaching the lost. Yes. Amen. Reaching the lost. Magnify Him, not your problems. Yes. Or the world. Change your priorities. I've said it. I've said it again. You know, we got to dethrone ourselves, change our priorities. That means I got to say, get off the throne and, and put Jesus on the throne. Yes. Seek Him first. Seek Him first. Matthew 6 33. Whatever you've got on the throne besides Jesus, mm -hmm. we need to change that. Whatever yes. it is that you're doing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Remember, I can do all things through Christ. Yes. We are joyful even if things are not going our way. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. We're joyful in a state of weary, worn out by our moods, our cares, our circumstances. Mm. That happens to everybody. The world, yes. that's the word for you. Yes. God's word says we can live, we can live life with joy. We just need to do it. Mm -hmm. We need to be obedient and mm -hmm. do it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Well, <clears throat> Nehemiah 10 says again. The joy yes. of the Lord is, is your strength. Sure. Amen. And, uh, and, uh, what was the other one? Mm -hmm. Proverbs 17, 22. Mm -hmm. 
Let's read it from the uh, from the King James. Proverbs seventeen twenty two. Proverbs seventeen twenty two. I've got it in different translations. I don't use the uh, the King James. I don't know why. Seventeen twenty two. Highlight it. Listen. <laughs> use your Bible. Use the Word. Underline it. Personalize it. Highlight it. It's okay. Mm -hmm. If you can't do that, throw it away and you get, you, get, one you get, you, get you one you can. You know? <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to step on any toes, but uh, somebody said it like this. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to keep my Bible clean. Mm -hmm. So if I forget it somewhere, or if I leave it somewhere, and somebody finds it, they can have it, and it's new. <laughs> I post one on uh, no. Facebook that says, I mean, a dusty Bible that says, please read me. <laughs> and when you do, then you see that it's all highlighted. Uh -huh. It's marked on there. You can write on there and scratch you and put I or me or my name on there. Personalize it. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, you can do that. If you're not doing that, when I read it, I want to read it personalize what, mm -hmm. I, what I do. Uh, what was it, 1722? Uh -huh. It says, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, mm -hmm. but a broken spirit dryeth dry the bones. Up. That's it. And that's King James right there. Mm. So, a merry heart a is merry great. Heart. Hallelujah. Amen. We're not going to finish this, and I don't think I'm going to start anything else. We're just going to stop it right there. But uh, it says, Keep your joy by allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us in the way that we should go. Amen. 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 Well, you know what? I have my Bible open. Let's go back to Proverbs. Uh -huh. And one of my favorite scriptures, go to Proverbs and look at um, look at uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6? Yes, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Are you there? <laughs> it says, uh, <clears throat> Trust in the Lord with what? Oh, yes. All thy heart, heart. And lean not to own understanding. Six says, In all your ways acknowledge him, and uh -huh. he will direct your, your path. path. You know what? He knows your path. Mm, yes, Amen. Yes. You're blessed. You're called. Yes. And you're anointed. Amen. And he's blessed your path for you yes. to succeed and not fail. <clears throat> Amen. So let's 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 do this. Uh, Proverbs 16 to 9 says this uh, People can plan what they want to do uh -huh. But it is uh, The Lord who guides And directs their mm -hmm. steps yeah. And that's uh -huh. what he's doing right here He's blessing yeah. your steps, he's blessing your yeah. path That you're going mm -hmm. Hallelujah mm -hmm. So you're not just following Something You're following God And God has a plan for you And none of it includes defeat all of it includes win-win. Mm -hmm. Amen. So many people complain about how boring life is. <laughs> they need to <clears throat> check their priorities. Get your priorities yes. again. Get your priorities right. Amen. They lose their love for God. They open the door for the enemy. Mm. Amen. Hey, you know when you take your trash to the dumpster, leave it there. Yeah. 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 When you start confessing the word of God, don't forget. And don't change your word That's it. back to what it used to be. Don't let negative things come out of your mouth. Put a guard and don't go there no more. Amen. Get back in relationship with God. It's not boring. Get our priorities right. Mm -hmm. Life is not boring if we are led by His Holy Spirit. So make the changes you need to make. You will lose your joy if you're not willing to get out of your little comfy zone, get out of your boat, your box, whatever you want to call it, uh -huh. and be led by His Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. His Holy Spirit is saying, step out. Peter yes. stepped out of his boat. We need to step out of our boat. Yes. Amen. We need to step out for Jesus yes. on a daily basis Amen. and not be held back. <clears throat> we limit Him. Mm. He's limitless. Yes. Amen. So let's remember this. We're going to close right there, and uh, we'll pick it up uh, next week. Yeah. On uh, got steps to take in uh, 
and keeping our joy. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. Amen. Did you get something? Yeah. Did you receive yeah. it? <laughs> Did you receive praise it? Praise the Lord. I received. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Those of you that are watching, now's the time, you know, anytime now, but now's the time for you to come back home. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is say, huh, I've been I've, I've been lost all this time. Mm -hmm. It's time to come home. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. I want to yeah. serve you. And you know what? He's not going to turn you down. He's going to receive you and say, you know what? It's time for you to press on. Get into a Bible-based church where they're <coughs> teaching from the Word of God. Yeah. And you're growing from the Word, studying the Word, meditating on the Word. Mm -hmm. And you're going for God. So yeah. He didn't make no junk. He made you to be a winner, right, amen. Amen. a champion. Amen. You're an overcomer. See yourself yes. the way he sees you. Amen. So praise God. You. If you need healing in your body, the Bible says that by Jesus Christ, he sent him to the cross and put all these stripes on him, all this sickness for you to be healed. Amen. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet and everything in between. No malfunctions in my body. Yeah. Everything functioning the way God yeah. created it to function. Yeah. So body, line up with the word of God. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I call you well and I call you healed. And you start confessing what the word of God says. Yeah. And quit confessing the negative things. Yeah. Who's reporting you don't believe? Mm -hmm. Believe the report of the Lord. He said, yeah. by Jesus Christ, you're healed. Yeah. So yes. believe. And he's telling you to believe. Amen. Amen. I'm believing that I am well. I am healed from yes. the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Oh, Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Yeah. I receive that now in Jesus' name. Praise and God. if you're watching, time to give. Go to our website, NBCBigBen.com, and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And Cash App at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you, and we love you. Amen. God bless. Bye-bye.